So last year, our first year, we started this, which we hope will be a regular tradition of recognizing the great contributions to our industry and to our community uh, that folks are working on. Especially, it feels great to be able to recognize folks uh, for things that haven't necessarily been publicly yep, recognized absolutely. before. And since a lot of defenders end up working behind the scenes and in the trenches, bringing some of those folks out is really great. So uh, we have four awards, one, two, three, four. And the first award is the Project Award. Yeah, the Project Award. So the Project Award is essentially a community contribution. Kind of, it takes a village to sort of pull something together. And so uh, last year we had the Shoulders of InfoSec Award, uh, went to the Shoulders of InfoSec Project. This year's award goes to... Da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. OS Query. And so uh, Mike Arpea, Teddy Reed, Facebook, and Nick Anderson, actually, who's the new program lead on that. OS Query is a fantastic tool that that team developed and released onto the world. Uh, I think of it as instrumenting an entire environment and putting it into a SQL database so that you can actually query for it. And it's so useful. It's been useful from operations teams to security and back again. It's open sourced. It's, it has great documentation and support. So thank you so much to yep. the folks of OS Query. I assume Facebook is watching us from here somehow. Okay. Hi. All right. Uh, next up, we have the Research Award. And this typically goes to uh, an academic or some sort of formal research project or paper uh, or researcher who has made a great contribution. And this year's award goes to the Voting Machine Hacking Village at DEF CON. So uh, actually, and here with us are Matt Blaze, uh, Carrie Hursty, Joseph Sir. Lorenzo. Let me, okay, everybody clap. Congrats. And then I will name the folks who are, who are on the paper, and if you are one of those people, raise your hand. Matt Blaze, uh, Jake Braun, Harry Hursty, uh, Joseph Lorenzo Hall, Go back to the slide where the words are. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret McAlpine. And? And that guy. And the last person whose name was on the slide. <laughs> Jeff, oh yes, Jeff oh, Moss. Oh, that guy. Def Con, yeah, yes, okay. all right. And thank guy. you, Def Con, for hosting that. And thank you guys for writing the paper. So thanks, thanks so much. Come right uh, on up here. We're, we're really honored to be here, and, and we're delighted to see uh, particularly recognition for the importance of wide scrutiny uh, for the literal uh, machinery of our democracy. As we've seen, uh, it's much, much more fragile uh, than um, we need it to be. And it's only through uh, wide scrutiny with events like the Voting Village and with the uh, top to bottom reviews that have been done that we have any chance of uh, being able to, to, to really trust the integrity of our elections and the legitimacy of our, our government. So thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, and if you want to check out the results of that, the paper is available online. So thank you so much um, for making sure that the results were written up. All right, next up is the Practitioner Award. So this typically goes to someone who, through their day-to-day -day work, has been making outstanding contributions. And this year's award goes to Colin Morgan. So Colin Morgan works for Johnson & Johnson. Get out here, man. Yeah, get out here, man. <laughs> Congratulations. So, Sorry, you can talk more. Yes, <laughs> I will continue to talk for a moment. So uh, his nomination included just a ringing endorsement of his work. He's worked tirelessly, that was in the nomination, tirelessly to make sure that security is incorporated into the entire product development process at Johnson & Johnson. And not only have you, you're recognized for helping Johnson & Johnson, but actually the entire medical device industry, which... It's kind of important that security thank be you. in place for that, given the patient health outcomes. So thank you so much, Colin. Congratulations. We really appreciate it. 
Thank you, and I'd like to, to thank the committee for the recognition. And I'd actually like to stand up here and accept this award on behalf of the community we're part of, and that's in healthcare. You know, there's a lot of great people working hard to help improve this space, which is the top target over the past few years. And I'd like to give a quick thank you to some of those communities. So first is to the security researchers who are constantly finding flaws and helping us improve our game. To security consultant firms who are helping us keep aware of emerging threats and solve complex problems. To our regulators like the US FDA who is very collaborative in bringing together key stakeholders to try and solve these problems. To our competitors who in this space, which many of you may not know, we work together. We share information, we collaborate. Well, it's not, a day doesn't go by where I don't talk to a peer at another company about trying to figure out how to solve a problem. And then finally to our customers such as the hospitals who are upping their game and forcing us to be more diligent. It truly has taken a community to defend the healthcare cybersecurity space and I'm honored to be a part of it, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. All right. One more. We have one more. And it was interesting because we weren't planning on doing five awards this year. In total. But we, yes, in total, because we had one yesterday. But we have this last one because we had a really interesting uh, nomination that was actually, n there were people and the project were nominated multiple times in multiple categories. And we looked at it and we thought, well, let's do it. The paper's pretty yeah. cheap. We could do another award. <laughs> we could put out another award and we would love to recognize more great work. Absolutely. So we came up with a fifth category. So this year we have a People's Champion Award. And the winner of the People's Champion Award is the authors of Improving SSL Awardings, Comprehension and Adherence, Adrian Porterfelt, Robert Reeder, Alex Ansel, Sonny Consolvo, Samus Thayagara, Alan Betts, Helen Harris, Jeff Grimes. Yay! So I want to... I want to take a moment to explain the complexity of the nominations. So normally something like this would go into a research award. But the thing that the nominees kept, or the nominations kept mentioning is that the work that was done in this research paper, which was sort of foundational in, in how you can get to better security outcomes with better UX, it's recognized that that is being driven into your products and because the research was shared is, is something that other companies can take advantage of, which ultimately gets us to better security outcomes for people which is, I think, where we as an industry want to get to. So thank you so much to you and the entire team. It was a wonderful paper. Right. Well, thank, thank you. That was a great uh, way of uh, introducing the, the work. It really is. I'm a user experience researcher, uh, which is maybe an unusual discipline to be in security. Um, but this is work where we really tried to, to make security better for people. Um, Chrome users receive tens of millions of uh, SSL phishing and malware warnings per month and um, getting people to not proceed through those warnings was an important thing to do because when they do, um, security risks happen and we're, we've been able to uh, drop the click-through rate on those on uh, SSL warnings by 25% or so through just making better user experiences in the warning itself and it's really uh, great to bring UX and security folks together to make this work happen. So I encourage you to think about usability in your own work. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you for the paper. Thank you. Well, one of the things that I think is astonishing, I mean, by the way, uh, another round of applause for all the winners. I don't know about you guys, but it's actually so much fun just to celebrate and recognize Absolutely. some of the good work being done in this space. I, re I really appreciate it. And the thing that I think is really interesting about the nominations and the acceptances is that they all seemed to be team efforts, even when it is an individual sure. really pushing really hard. These, it, and, and that is very true about defense. It's really a, a team sport, and it's a game that we have to play together. 